Hey guys, we're back with some more Long Live the Queen. We're already up to week 17. So I reckon that's really good so far. It's episode 5 now, and yeah, let's get started. Ah, uh, skills. Let's see, what can we do? We need to do accounting, flattery, archery, and battlefield medicine. Plus others, of course. Like, social stuff. Social stuff is always useful. Um... Let's do some more accounting. La, 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 la. La, la. There it is. Da, la, da, 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 da. She's happy at the moment, cheerful. That's very good. So we've done accounting. I'm just gonna mark it off that we've done a lot of that. Just so that I know. Um Okay, we can't do archery because that's going down. So we should do battlefield medicine. Actually, let's do poison this time. So do the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations using written numbers instead of an abacus. If a victim is stabbed with the poisoned spine of a sea urchin, the spine must be removed carefully in the affected area soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. Ooh, ooh, a new outfit. Are you ready for the grand ball? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Uh, you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Ah, oh, so pretty. All around the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. First dance is for us. your own partner, there are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Giggle alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age, but I'm already betrothed to Duke of Sedna. That does not bar you from dancing. Yeah, let's dance with suitors. If you look around the room at your, all your possible partners, which is to say everyone, not many may begin dancing. No, oh, no one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want and you will not be denied. About my age. The second son of Duke Kegel, Kegel? I'm not sure. He's about two years older than you and he was always nice to you at school. He bows to you with great courtesy and, begin, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Oh gosh. I trip over my own feet. Sample tiny bits of exquisite food. Yes! During a lull in the music, Banyan Duke of Marie taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention. I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Woo! As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenel, for instance, the young lady of Sadbury, only months older than you, and you two finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of Duchess Lilla, and a fierce sportswoman. She is a few years ahead of you at school and an absolute terror of the ball fields. No Bryony. She had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke, the Duke consort clutching his duchess possessively tightly. Possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins though. Shouldn't they be here? Whoa. You can see. Okay. Shouldn't 
be here? Okay. Your aunt and uncle are here, of course, but it would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Merva being so close by. Ah. Oh. Let's check our mood. We want to be less willful, more yielding. Let's visit the treasure actually. To talk your way past the treasury guards, but despite eyelash flutter fluttering, foot stomping and outright threats, they won't budge. Humph. Hum. Skills. Okay. So we should work on la 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 la. So that stuff failed, so that's why it's low. What's our mood? Oh gosh. Um Oh! We should do archery. Or swords or pole arms. Let's do pole arms. Oops. Cancel. Glasses. Uh weapons, pole arms. I wish we could do Lumen, but I can't see it anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, it's not there. Okay. I suppose we should do... So we're doing that. I have a feeling we should get our public speaking up a bit. You learn about a variety of long weapons from the quartz staff to the spear to the halberd and glaive. You practice tongue twisting sequences of syllables to improve your en non oh, enunciation. You wander downstairs to so visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father is al isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Sarah, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. <sighs> How dare she make a move on your father? Ah, oh, composure failed. Salt her with. Flattery. Good afternoon, Countess. <laughs> I'm ready. It's not polite to comment on ladies' attributes like that. But you are young. You will grow. Poo. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave in excess. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Hmm. have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Calaros needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama, nothing can ever replace your mother, but we all have to do things that we don't want to. Ah, you should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the go goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As Queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I'm paying attention to what's around me. Poo. Okay. Um. Let's go in there. You spend the weekend hold up alone in your room with your favourite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. I'm. I'm angry. Just angry. It's not good. Okay. Do some archery. Archery. Also do swords. Just to be grumpy. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows, long, short, and recurve. You take up a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. 
It is the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. <gasps> I forgot to do accounting then. The majority of the money we, we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. Oh no! Keep them the same. As you wish. Let's hope that stays. Fine. It's week 20, cool. Sort of angry, afraid. Um. Ah, oh, she's happy again. She's cheerful. That's good. Um. Okay, so we should work on our counting. that up and 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 we'll also get up our presents oops Study money lending and the controversies involved in charging interest. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. You stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. Ooh, a new outfit. Oh, we should check out our outfits. We requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. <gasps> He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Go! Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me, and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Oh, magic failed. Demons that made you attack people? Is that even possible? Responsible, not you. Don't blame yourself. The priestess of the royal grove will take care of purifying you. Bless you, your majesty. Oh, good. We need to get less angry, so we need to get afraid. Where can we go to get afraid? Afraid. Afraid. Oh, there. Okay. Run through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spiderwebs. Yuck. Oh. She's lonely. That's not good. Okay. Uh, let's just look at our outfits. So we have that. Oh, we have that. Whoa. Wait, outfit. Coronet boosts royal demeanor. Nurse's gown. Boosts medicine. Oh, that's smart. So if we want to work on that, we should do... Um, if we want to work on royal demeanor, we should do that. Anyway, I have to go now. Bye guys, I hope I see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, subscribe, like, blah blah blah. Thank you, bye!